In the build-up to the war, Hitler had ordered that the German Navy be strong enough to challenge the British and embarked on a major construction program. In contradiction to this plan, Grand Admiral Erich Rader, the naval commander-in-chief, felt that such a plan would be hopeless and that Germany could never match the strength of the Royal Navy on the surface. Instead, he opted for a plan of U-boat construction to cut Britain's maritime lines. The German naval expansion program, Plan Z, therefore represented a compromise. There would be some new battleships and also a major refit of the existing fleet. But by 1939, the British Royal Navy was still the largest in the world. With its empire colonies, it had bases all over the globe. They hoped to draw the German Navy into battle and destroy them. At the opening of the Polish campaign, the first battleship to see action was the Schleswig-Holstein. She was the last of the pre-dreadnought battleships and by the outbreak of war was considered almost obsolete. She had been deployed in the Polish campaign and was used extensively to bombard the port areas such as here in the port of Danzig. 